nothing beats local intel. I just ran into some of the workers here. And they told me where the turkeys are at. I called and the turkeys are exactly where they said it was. So I'm going in on them right now. Welcome back to another turkey hunt. There is a trail right here in front of me and I'm gonna walk it back as far as I can. It loops around back there and comes back this way. And I'm just gonna walk trails today. I'm gonna I have three trails in mind. I may not make it to the third one because the second trail is actually very long. I think if I'm correct the second trail is like almost six miles long. So, we'll see how far I get with that trail. It's a little chilly today, as you guys can see. It's overcast. I don't know why, but this year I've been hunting a lot of overcast days, and um, I seem to have a lot of luck with it. And on my, oh crap, it's my rangefinder. Um, shit, I think I left the rangefinder out. It's not needed, but. Well, 850 it is. So I have this Impact 850 as my backup. Kind of sucks because I like using the 1000, the Impact 1000, but you know, when you forget your stuff, well, use what you got. And I always carry a backup in my car. Actually, I should have two backup. I have this one and I have my old rangefinder. Anyways, I like ranging my birds even if I'm using a shotgun because. You never want to take a bad shot. If I can find a place to clip this thing. Oh, I figured that out a little. Oh, I can clip it to the zip pouch. All right, here it goes. I think I just heard a tricky gobble. I'm getting ready to go in. Uh, I'm gonna bring, basically because I'm gonna be hiking trails, I'm gonna bring my slate call, and I'm also gonna bring my uh, Phelps calls, or whatever you call these things. This is not a very long trail, this trail is very short, but I'm going in anyways. I have three trails in mind to walk today. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna make it to the third trail because the second trail is kind of long. I think the second trail is like six miles. So, going in. And. Give me a lot with this gosh dang GoPro. I'm just struggling to find a SD card that will work constantly with this. I've had multiple SD cards in this thing. And 
They keep failing me. This is good. I got a fresh turkey track. I think it's a hand though. Either that was a Jake. Hen or Jake because it's very small. That's always a plus just to see turkeys actually. So yeah. Now that's depressing. That's my boot track going that way. That's the tom track coming this way. Oh. What is that, guys? Oh, it's the back of his toe. <laughs> but if you guys are wondering, so that was me going down, right? There's me going down again. <laughs> this turkey just came up. Like, oh well. <laughs> I can tell you this. I know that that's, that I'm not the first person that that's happened to. 100%. I'm not the first person that has to kill. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Give me a second. This is a quick call sequence. I'll get back to you guys. A lot of traffic here. Anyways, I'm just gonna be hopping around today on public land. Little spots that I think there might be turkey holding, and I'm just gonna try to find one. Definitely a new tactic for me. I usually don't spot hop like this. I usually pick a spot on Onyx, go in, and just run around hoping to run into something. But today's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna try this tactic because my buddy does this. He's very successful at it. So it's gonna be something new for me. I'm gonna try it out. And uh, we'll see which way I'm better. This way or my usual scout out a spot on X and go in. Oh, spot number one is a dead, dead zone. <laughs> so I'm gonna head to the next spot, charge my camera because it's running a little low. I didn't, haven't charged it and I was out all day yesterday, so. Yeah, tag along guys, let's see what we can do. All I'm hearing is the wind. On to the next spot. Alright guys, 
nothing beats local intel. I just ran to some of the workers here. And they told me where the turkeys are at. I called and the turkeys are exactly where they said it was. So I'm going in on them right now. I've been told by a couple of people that this bird is unhuntable. So, we'll see how that goes. Not so bad this year. Oh man, turkey, turkey, turkey. Why are you guys so complicated? Seriously, guys, turkeys are some of the s smartest dumb birds. Or some of the dumbest smart birds. I don't know how to explain it. I mean, they're not even dumb, they're just hella smart. God damn it. Oh. Alright. Here's what happened in that four hour time span. So 50 yards off, there's a campsite in here. And I noticed that the camp workers were there. So I went up and I spoke to them and see if there's any turkeys in the area or if there's any turkeys that they know of. They then informed me there are turkeys right here in this bowl. And they told me, if you want, you could just grab your bow, go in there and go shoot them. But 
me being how I am, I told him, no, it's okay. I want to do it the right way. Uh, thanks for letting me know. I'll work my way around it and try to stay off the camp. So I took this trail here and decided to set up down here, knowing that the turkeys were back there, and just did a quick yelp to just let them know there's a hand down here. I then proceeded to sit out the next hour and a half waiting for this tom to come to me. I had no idea at the time, but he had heard me and took the long route along the cabin and ran along the road, up the logging road to exactly where I was calling. While he was taking his sweet time, I had already changed location, went up the hill, wrapped around to where the bowl was at. And of course, that's when I hear him gobble from where I was set up. I then proceeded to just walk down to where I wanted to be at and set up anyways and wait for him. I knew this was a smart Tom, so I had stopped recording. And all I did was light scratching, no calls, just hoping he would hear me, thinking I'm a hen just up there scratching. After about 45 minutes, I made my way back down to where I last heard him. And I figured last hour, I'm just gonna sit it out. Hopefully he comes through. And then I hear him gobble from right here, basically where I was scratching. And these are the only two paths that he could really take down to come to where I was at. So with that knowledge, I made my setup for a left-handed shot, expecting him to come out from the left side, which is where I last heard him. He then took this back route and backtracked to where he originally came from. The only thing I could do was slowly move my hand, get him on camera, try not to spook him, and come back and work him on another day. I told my buddy about it, who originally found the bird. He came in, did the exact same setup as I did, and got the bird down under an hour. So this is the bird the locals deemed unkillable and uncallable. He was definitely uncallable with the slate call and the box call, but he was responding to the wing bone, which is what put him down, and the mouth calls that I was using. He was definitely a smart tom, very thick, long beard, and a very pretty bird. A worthy adversary, and it was a blast chasing him. I wish I had gotten that bird. That was really fun. I wish I had gotten that bird. It would have been uh, a repeat. Because last year, today, I shot my, on this day, I shot my first bird. Would have been my first tom. Wouldn't have been my first bird, though. But it would have been my first time. I think it's time for me to get out too. Here you go, guys. Check it out. I love being out. It's okay, even if I don't get a bird. I had fun today. Been out since 7 o'clock. And yeah, it's okay if I don't get a bird. I'm not disappointed in anything. So you guys check it out and like I told you I was tucked in there this was the walkway or the choke point I was hoping they would use and it's almost five which means legal shooting is about to end so I'm gonna just pack my stuff get out of here go home I had fun today I've been out since seven it's almost five so that's like nine hours 10 hours actually, yeah, that's 10 hours. So yeah guys, um, I hope you guys are having a great season. Unlike me, I'm struggling a little bit. I haven't really been able to go out. Today's, what, I think my fourth day going out? Oh, my fifth day going out since the season began. So I haven't really been hunting that much, but I have been out and I've been fortunate enough to see turkeys almost every trip. Every single trip that I've gone out, I've seen turkeys. So five days, five turkeys, five different group of turkeys and you can't beat that I mean it's a lot of work but I mean I, I just enjoy being out I'm out I'm just out so I got no problem with it I have fun being out I hope you guys are having fun watching me being out <laughs> but yeah peace out guys I hope you guys enjoy this little um turn of events I was beginning to start downing myself because I went all day without really seeing anything didn't hear a single gobble uh, until now and uh, uh, peace out subscribe I uh, got two more tricks to go so don't count yourselves out yeah guys and I'm not gonna count myself out I'm gonna keep keep uh, grinding and hopefully I get two times so I'll see you guys in the next video